Hey everyone, my name is Danielle and I'm the Collection Development Specialist here at the Carroll County Public Library. I wanted to give you a quick little introduction on accessing the library's digital collection. Today we're just going to talk about the digital collection that we have with Kentucky Libraries Unbound. I'll go over how to log into your account, the different kinds of items that you'll find, how to browse, borrow, reserve, and some other helpful little tips and tricks. First, let's talk about the different ways that you can access this collection. The first way is through the Kentucky Libraries Unbound website. This will be ideal for students who are using one of the school's devices, and this is also what we'll be looking at today as we go over this tutorial. Um, if you have your own personal device, whether it's a computer, tablet, or smartphone, you could download one of the apps. Libby is the newest app, and it's extremely user-friendly. Elizabeth and I cannot recommend Libby enough. The other app that you could use is the original OverDrive app. If you're a longtime user, you may already be familiar with this app, but it also happens to be the best choice if you prefer using a Kindle. Both the Libby and OverDrive apps are free in your app store, and I encourage you to check those out. Like I said, today I'm going to demonstrate with the Kentucky Libraries Unbound website that each method for accessing the collection works similarly. They may just look a little different. Let's get started. Okay, so to get started, we're going to go to the library's website, carrollcountylibrary.org, and we're going to come to this little tab right here that says databases, and we're going to click on that. And we're going to scroll down to find the link for Kentucky Libraries Unbound, and it's on this right hand side. So we're just going to go ahead and click that, and this will take us to their page, and we're going to go to the right hand side where it says sign in. Now, when you sign in, you want to make sure that this little drop down here says Carroll County Public Library. And then you want to type in your library card number, and then your PIN number is just the last four digits of your library card number. And you'll just sign in. Okay, so now that we're logged into our account, let's talk a little bit about the different items that you can check out on Kentucky Libraries Unbound. So we have ebooks, audiobooks, videos, magazines, um, all available to check out. Um, once you're logged into your account, you can check out up to 20 items at a time. And you can also reserve an additional 20 items as well. So you'll never run out of things to read. Before we start searching, let's go to this My Account drop down here and let's look at our settings really quick. Okay, so the first setting that we'll look at is our lending period. So this is where you can adjust how long you check out each item for. So ebooks right now, I can check them out for two weeks. If I want, I can change that to 21 days or seven days. I know it takes me a little longer to read an ebook, so I'm going to change that to 21. And then audiobooks, I can listen to it for 7, 14, or 21 days as well. And I know I usually finish those faster, so I'll change that to 7. Videos, you can check out for 3 days, 5 days, or 7 days. I'm going to change that to 3. And then magazines, I'm going to change that to 7. You can also adjust the audience. Um, that you tend to look for. So this will adjust the sort of content that you'll see as you're browsing and searching the collection. Um, right now it's on all audiences, but you can change it to just juvenile content or young adult content. You can also adjust some of your display options. Um, if you prefer a high contrast, that's what that looks like, if that makes it easier for you to look at the screen. Um, or you can also turn on the dyslexic font for this website as well. Okay, so now that we've adjusted our settings, let's go back to the main page. All right, so here you'll see um, Kentucky Libraries Unbound usually has um, sort of featured collections on their main page. So this one is called Taking Care of Business. If you scroll down, they also have award-worthy reads, always available audiobooks, audiobooks for the whole family, um, and that gets changed out pretty often. So if you see something here that you might want to check out, 
you can click on the title. So this one I see is an audiobook. You can read the description. If you want to learn more about it. Um, you can also look at reviews if you're interested in that. On this right hand side, it'll tell you some of the subjects or genres. So this is a biography, an autobiography. Um, it's juvenile nonfiction and it's African American nonfiction. So if you're interested in that, um, you can go ahead and borrow it or listen to a sample. See if you like the way it sounds before you check it out. It's sort of a try before you buy thing. You can just add it to your wish list if maybe you're still on the fence about it. Um, you can come back and visit it later. Let's go ahead and just add it to our wish list. And then we'll go back to the main page. Okay, now if you have a specific title in mind that you know you'd like to read, you can click on the search icon and then type in either the title or the author. So let's look at So you'll notice as you're browsing um, at the top of an item, it'll tell you if it's available or if there's a wait list. It'll also tell you at the bottom whether it's an ebook or an audiobook. So you do want to make sure you um, pay attention to that as you browse. Um, this one here, it looks like it's the graphic novel version, and that one is not available, but I might be interested in checking that out. So there's one copy available. If you click on this little question mark, it'll tell you um, how many copies there are and how many people are waiting to check it out ahead of you. So there are seven people waiting for this. Um, on the right hand side, it tells you the interest level, so grades four through eight. Let's go ahead and place a hold on that. Now the first time that you reserve something on your account, it's gonna ask you for an email address. And that's just so that once it becomes available, um, you'll get an email telling you um, it's ready to be checked out. So you can go to the website and do that. And you'll also notice that when you play something on hold, it um, gives you some suggestions as well of other books that you might be interested in. So you can also look at those if you want something that you can read right now. So if you're still just browsing, um, you can search the collections tab. Um, you can narrow it down if you're looking for ebooks, audiobooks, or videos. Uh, let's say I'm looking for an ebook. Um, you can look at what's available right now. You can see what's new um, and what's most popular. So I want something that I can check out right now. All right, so these are available. Let's look at Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Wrecking Ball. So this is a comic and graphic novel. It's juvenile fiction and it's humor fiction. Interest level grades four through eight. You'll see sometimes there's a Lexile measure here as well. Um, and if you want to go ahead and check it out, you can, or you can read a sample. I'm going to go ahead and borrow it. If I want, I can go ahead and change how long I'm borrowing it for, but I'm going to leave it at 21 days for right now. And now I have the option to go ahead and read in my browser. And sometimes it'll also, um, depending on the book, it'll let you download it to your computer. And the difference with that is if you're just reading it in your browser, you really need to be connected to the internet as you read. If you go ahead and download it, you can um, continue reading without being connected to the internet. So if you open up your book, um, you can just click and drag to turn the pages. But before we do anything like that, let's look at this area right here. So if you click on these three little lines on the right hand side and you go to reading settings, sometimes you'll have the option to adjust the text size for the book. You can make it bigger or smaller. Um, you can adjust the lighting for the book. That makes it easier for you to read. Um, it really just depends on the book that you check out. But let's go back to browsing. Okay, so the last thing that we'll talk about in terms of searching is 
searching by subject on this left hand side here. You can narrow it down by format. So if you're looking for an ebook, an audiobook, or a video, say I'm looking for an ebook. I want something scary. So let's go to horror. Okay, I've got some goosebumps here. Okay. Now I've already got an ebook checked out. So maybe I don't need one right this second, but I do want to read one soon. So let's go ahead and just add that to our wish list. Before we review everything that we've done so far, let's check out the kids collection really quick. So if you click on the little kids icon, it'll bring you to this collection right here. It's got its own sort of main page with like featured um, sections. So these are all titles that are available to read for right now. And if you want to see more, you can just click see all. There are some read along books um, for younger readers who can follow along with the book as it is being read to them. It's got some diverse reading, new stuff, books in Spanish, what's trending right now, your next great read, and you can watch as well. So that's just another area of the digital collection that you can explore if you'd like. Um, but right now, let's go ahead and review what we've done so far. So if you click on this little book icon right here, this will take you to your shelf. Um, so this shows you what you have checked out right now. So I've got Wrecking Ball, The Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and this will um, just take me to it so I can read it in my browser if I want again. I can look at what I've placed on hold. And it tells me I'm number eight in line, so it might be a little bit before I can check that one out. I can look at what I've added to my wish list, and if I decide that, you know what, never mind, I don't think I want to read this right now, you can just remove it as well. And when you're ready to return an item that you've checked out, you just click this little button here at the bottom. Once you've finished your book, you return it. Now, before the book is due, you might get a little notification saying, hey, your book's going to be due in just a couple of days. Would you like to renew it or place a hold on it um, if someone else is already waiting for it? And you can do that then. Um, if you finish early, I encourage you to go ahead and turn it in so people get it faster. Um, but yeah, so there it is. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and then it opens up a whole new world of borrowing possibilities for you. If you give it a try and find that you need a little more help, feel free to reach out to us with a Facebook message, a phone call, an email, or by stopping by the library during our open hours. Thanks for watching!